Welcome to Informatica University Success Academy. An array data type represents an ordered collection of elements. You can create a field of array data type that has multiple values of the same data type. You can use an array data type in a mapping and write it to a complex file type such as Avro or Parquet. In this video, you will watch how to read a scoop data object and use an aggregator transformation to create an array port. You will then write the data to an Avro file. Open the developer tool and connect to MRS. In the Object Explorer, let's create a new mapping. Now, name the mapping. Click Finish. Select the data object and drag it to the mapping canvas. Select the read operation. Once you drag the data object to the mapping canvas, check the field. By default, the data type is string. Change the data type to avoid incompatibility issues. Select the aggregator transformation from the palette and drag it to the mapping canvas. Link the ports. Now, from the aggregator transformation, navigate to properties and select ports. Here, you will insert a new field. Enter the values as shown. In the Type Configuration window, Select Double and click OK. Avro format does not support decimal type. Clear the input checkbox for the port. In the Expression field, click the drop down icon. The Aggregator Expression window opens here. Expand Complex and double-click Collect List function. Enter the new values as shown. Let's validate the new changes. Now, Let's clear the output checkbox. Save the mapping. Let's go ahead and create a target. Select the data object and link type as shown. Enter the name of the object. and click Finish. Your mapping should look like this. Select the target and click Properties tab. In the General tab, 
click the physical data object. From the data object operations tab, navigate to the advanced tab. Let's change the file directory of the right data object. Let's configure the runtime properties. Select the Hadoop connection. Now, validate the mapping. Here, you will observe that there is a warning. As there is an active field in the aggregator transformation, it is considered a pass-through field and the return value can be the value from any of the input rows in the group. Click OK. Run the mapping. Click the link on the progress bar to monitor the job. Log into the Informatica Administrator tool. As you can see here, the status shows as completed. View Spark Execution and the other tabs to view the results of the mapping execution. This concludes the video.